Now, on an episode of Unbox It, you might remember that I unboxed the RetroBit Super Retrocade. Now, I am still currently working on the review of this for an episode of Reviews by This Guy. But I have decided to do a couple of videos of the Super Retro K because there are a lot of topics I personally would like to talk about. One of them being the two USB ports on the front of the console itself. Apparently there are supposed to be many different controllers you can use on this. Now I have already used two controllers and they failed to work. I have a lot of other USB controllers coming that I will test on this system. I'm pretty much assuming it's going to be your very basic USB controllers that are going to work on this. I also want to do a video on what arcade main games I am currently playing on the system. Yes, the system is very versatile. Besides what is on the system, you can add a lot of other ROMs via the SD card slot. It does more than it's intended to do. And that's exactly what we're going to talk about today in this episode of We Get Technical. Welcome back to an episode of We Get Technical. And I think I only have two episodes on the We Deem channel for We Get Technical. I'd like to do a lot more. It just happened that that just fell to the side. And today we are going to discover how to put more ROMs on the Super Retrocade via the SD card slot. Now, a lot of people have done a video on it. I want to do a video on it because this thing is very, very simple. Now, I do talk about this in the review, but I'd like to make a video separate from that. So if people are just trying to find out how to do that, here we go. All you have to do is get yourself an SD card slot. This is an SD card adapter and inside is a two gig micro SD. You can do it that way or just get yourself a plain SD card. You want to put it inside of your computer and then you're going to create a folder called RetroBit. That's one word all together. No space, no dash. RetroBit space games and then you just load all your ROMs inside of that folder and they work. Now all the console games such as your NES, your Nintendo, and some of the other portables, those will work just by dropping the ROM with inside that folder almost every time. Genesis ROMs are a little iffy. Uh, if you had seen my video on the Chinese MP5 handheld, you would have known that I was having trouble getting Genesis ROMs to run on that little handheld. And someone commented and told me they do work. You just have to have them in a dot bin format. Now, most of my ROMs for Genesis are dot gen. So I had to go ahead and convert it. And I used an app called SBWin. Once you get the file converted to a dot bin file, they do work. I had Sunset Riders working on there amongst other games. So Genesis ROMs do work. They're just not going to work right away unless you convert them or already have them in a dot bin format. Now, when you come to try to get your arcade main games on it, you're going to come into some problems. Now, in order to do it, when you download the main game, you want to keep the file zipped. Once you get that zip file, you're going to put that into the RetroBit Space Games folder, and sometimes it'll work. You're going to find yourself searching over and over again, trying to find different files or different versions of that game on different websites and test all of them before you actually find one that works. Now I found The Simpsons, which is a great beat em up. I kind of enjoyed it when I first seen it. I knew I wanted to try it, never played it in the arcade. That worked. I got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 
Turtles in Time to work. I got Frogger to work. Now, these ones, I found that the first file work. Now, you are going to have some sort of problem sometimes with Street Fighter and which ones work. I am trying to put a list together of the actual games that I did get work and the links to them. And that will be included in the description down below. It will be a link to my website called ReviewsByThisGuy.com. And all those games that I put in there should work. They worked for me. You will have a direct link to where to download it. And you can go ahead with that route. Or you can just go about it yourself. And it's just going to take a lot of trial and error. But when you do get it to work, it is amazing. It's amazing to get to experience those arcade games on a home plug and play right on your home TV. Now you will find after you get the games onto the SD card slot, load them up on your RetroBit Super Retrocade, that there's no thumbnails like there is in the console's menu and the games that are included with the console. Now there's an easy fix to that too. What you want to do is you want to find yourself a PNG. It has to be a PNG, any file, any picture, but it has to be a PNG. And you want to title that PNG exactly like the game name. So if it's Mega Man, with no space, just Mega Man, you want to keep it that way. And if it's Space 5, you want to have that exact Space 5 inside the image file name. And then write Game after it. So it'll be Mega Man Space 5 Game. No space beyond the game and then .png. And that should work for you. Now I am working on a lot of images for mine and I am going to put them on my website reviewsbythisguy.com if you want to just go ahead and download them they'll work right away but just know that they have to be titled the same way that my games are titled and if they are these images will work perfectly fine for you can go ahead and download them via that link in the description down below but anyway that's how easy it is to get games on the Super Retrocade and thumbnails if you have any questions, as always, please leave them in the comments down below. If you have any arcade games that you are playing and putting on the Super Retrocade and they did work, please let us all know in the comments down below. If you found this video to be of some sort of value, as always, please consider sharing amongst your friends. If you liked what was showcased in this video, please hit that thumbs up. And as always, if you're interested to see more from the We Dean channel, please hit the subscribe button.